Well, hello, here we are again. Um, Mind Hurdles. Uh, it's Charlie here. Um, and we are on episode nine, I believe. Um, sorry, there's been a bit of a hiatus and a gap. Um, I've been back at school uh, for a couple of weeks now. And um, it was something I was pretty scared about going back in and uh, essentially virus dodging, um, teaching different classes, music. But it's it's great to see kids again. They are a pretty exhausting bunch, but uh, um, but they are great all the same. And um, so that's what's changed. Uh, yeah, these little uh, chats, I mean, I don't think anyone's really listening. It's, it's a big part of it is really for myself um, because I guess during this lockdown time, we're still in lockdown, um, there's a lot of time to churn your thoughts, to think, to ruminate. And if you're me, um, those ruminations often go on a bit of a, a negative spiral. Look at you again, you know, you're disorganised. You can't. You start work and then you can't finish it. You start your little music projects and you don't finish them. You're trying to get fit with your cycling and you're too lazy to go out. Um, all that sort of thing, just uh, constantly um, going on. Oh, <laughs> we've got a cat. Um, yeah, all that stuff really. And uh, I guess what. I'm saying is that if you're like me, you might have a, a propensity to beat yourself up. Um, just stop for a few minutes and look back. And this might be a little task uh, for you to do and just look back and see where you've come from and what's, what's got better, what's improved. I talked before about the, the three things that we list. Um, so yeah, to sort of encourage you to, to do that and really try, if you can, to tune out um, those kind of very accusatory sort of thoughts where you're beating yourself up. I mean, sometimes with me it gets so bad that I just I'm constantly uh, kind of uh, scrolling Twitter to, to shut out the noise. Um, I suppose a kind of a, a picture of that might be when I was at school, um, I went to this school that had rugby playing fields and um, they were they were essentially reservoirs by the River Thames that had been filled in and um, they didn't really do the job properly so every now and then kind of bits of rubble and um, old bicycles and shopping trolleys and things would sort of rise up through the earth I guess as things sort of bedded down and you'd be running around and somebody would sc they want to cut their leg or something, <laughs> some sharp object. And I think it is a bit like that in lockdown. You've got a lot of time to think and um, sometimes that can spiral. Um, so yeah, I often find myself uh, at war with myself. And um, I'm just reminding myself today to look back and look where I've come from. Oh, when I was in my 20s and 30s, all my thoughts were based around um, how did this, does this make me look? I was terrified of uh, ever confronting anything or anyone. Um, so timid and um, always waiting for people to, uh, you know, give me a leg up and do things for me rather than actually um, take the initiative take risks and try things. So um, yeah, that's my little thought for today. Somebody is meowing over there and wanting their tea. So um, this has been a short one. I'll say goodbye for now. But uh, yeah, just a, a little bit of homework. Three things that went well today. And maybe if you are struggling like me with um, giving yourself a hard time um, what about three things I managed to do okay today? Uh, it, it doesn't happen instantly to change that kind of thinking. It's, it's a long-term project. Um, 
That's why in a little exercise book or something by your bedside uh, is, is a great place, or just the notes function on your phone, just to jot down the three things. It might take a few weeks to have an effect. Anyway, bye for now. That was Mind Hurdles, episode nine.